Hello, I'm Siddharth Dhananjay Mendes. My student number is 18, 22, 24 and 4. Our group number is 9. We have developed a user feedback collecting system for public transportation accuracy by using Java RMI. Here we can see there are two parts. One is for starting survey and another part is for admin usage. Uh, here uh, we display all the questions and analyze the answers and plot a graph here. Uh, in admin panel, there is a panel to make changes for the questions and we can see the all questions and do the changes, update, delete and that's all about uh, our application. In this project I have developed database collection class question GUI, client GUI and admin panel and question survey, question interface and also question implementation class. I will explain one by one using code review. Okay, first of all we use Eclipse ID ID to develop this project. This is the database connection class and here we use a MySQL connector and here we call into the localhost by using uh, this port. This is the uh, database name. This is the client GUI that displayed to the user and this is designed using the window builder. I'll explain, explain this function later on. Okay, this is the uh, question server class. Uh, this is and will server part of the application. Here we use name rebind method for connecting with the implementation classes. And those are the implementation class. We predefined object. And this is the question interface class. It extend remote, extend remote. And here we define all the methods that we want that we want and it will used within the question implementation class. Uh, here are the methods. Uh, those are used for doing database operations like uh, search, update, delete. Okay, this is the implementation class, question implementation class. It uh, extend unicast remote object and implements your question interface here we can see the methods implemented by the interface class this is the interface class and the, this is the those are the methods and we use it override it in the question implementation class okay this method explain about the database operation that used for getting question uh, from the database this is the query and this is this method for getting answers and this is the query for that operation and this is for update questions here uh, this is the update query and this is for delete question and this is the delete query okay, now we look what are the things inside the client GUI this is also use, uh, designed using window builder uh, here you can see and this is the code here we create question interface object and this is the string variable that uh, store name rebinding address and those are strings for storing data so here we given the address address for uh, name in lookup name in lookup and it tells where to go and uh, what to do that means it looking for name rebinding in question server name rebinding address and after that it looking for their implementation class this is the implementation class and here we use get question methods uh, method and we store data within an array array list after that we retrieve the data and this is for getting questions and this is for getting answer and and this is the submit answer it will submit user answer to the database here we can see the submit answer button 
and this is for error handling part and here we get the radio button answer value and store in string variable and after that we looking for name rebinding address in here this is the name rebinding address and after that uh, we send answer into the insert answer method this is for disabling radio button and this is back button uh, is for going back to the login page and this is for analyzation part design here this is the admin panel and this is uh, also designed by using window builder tool okay this is update button uh, when admin click on this update button uh, update button uh, here we get the answer to the string uh, variable here we created a question interface object and this is for name rebinding address and we uh, look up for the name rebinding address so do the error handling parts uh, here it's look for empty values when the admin send a question with no string it will display error message so we call into the update question method and pass the value pass the value so and this is the delete button here we can see it and when admin click on the delete button we get the question number here to the string variable and we create a question interface object and this is a name rebinding address and we look up for the name rebind this is for error handling part so and we call into the delete question methods and pass in the value button is for do the changes that means in here do the changes here disable all the question and admin wants to do some changes for the question he can enter the question number here and enter the click on the add do the changes button after that uh, enable the all the questions and this update button and this delete button that he can do the operation and this is refresh button it purpose is here we can see the refresh button it purpose is uh, when the admin did some changes to the question and he wants to do some changes to the another question uh, so he can click on refresh button and enter question number again here enter question number and do the operation that he wants again this method this method is for displaying all the question in admin panel uh, here we use array list to storing get the uh, question details here we retrieve the data and store in a text box and that's all about the admin panel and this is what i did for this project and thank you very much